So today we're going to go over kitchen trends for 2024 and I'm excited to dive into this one. So without wasting any time, let's get straight into it. So the first trend that we're seeing is a gain in popularity in the induction cooktop. So these are not new by any means, but you know, we've really been seeing more of the traditional range for a long time now. And we're actually seeing this more sleek and modern look move into our kitchen trends. And I have to say, it does look really, really aesthetically pleasing to have that cooktop, that induction cooktop surface. I feel like we first saw this in tiny homes a lot because of the reduced space. What I love when we see it in a larger space is that it gives you a lot of flexibility as to where you would like certain things. For example, you could have one or two ovens in a different location than your cooktop, which can be really functional in certain you know, layouts, especially if you want to have like a double wall oven, that could be something where you look at doing maybe an induction surface. Also, I've seen it where it was applied in a really creative way. It was actually in the corner of this kitchen layout. It's a very large kitchen, but typically a range wouldn't work well in the corner just because it eats up so much floor space. But with the induction cook cooktop, you can actually make it work and then put your oven somewhere else. So I like the versatility of it. I think it looks quite lovely. It's very clean. It's nice to see something a little different from the, you know, the kind of typical big ranges that we've been seeing, which are beautiful and stunning as well. But you know, sometimes they don't need to be the center of attention in the kitchen. So I kind of like this. I like this trend that we're seeing. At Interior Design Hub, we believe in maximizing space so that we can design success for you and your business. We love space. Space planning is our absolute specialty. And there are a lot of reasons why you wanna maximize your space, whether you're growing or downsizing, there's a lot of benefits and savings involved when you actually utilize your space properly. So whether your teams are changing, you're switching to a hybrid or remote model, or you're just looking to better use the space that you have, Interior Design Hub is here to help you. Give us a shout and let us join you on your space planning process. This next trend, I'm, I'm not 100% sure about. <laughs> Mostly because I feel like when we think of lighting in a kitchen, and if you think of a kitchen with an island, which I tend to gravitate towards kitchens with islands, just like visually, I always picture an island in my head when I think of a kitchen. I think of that island lighting, you know, those pendant lights that are over top of your island. I feel like it's just such a, a I don't know, a, a fixture, <laughs> a play on words there, in a kitchen. That being said, this trend is really about layered lighting and understated lighting. So actually moving away from some of those pendant lights that we're used to seeing, but bringing in lighting in a lot more creative ways, which that part I do like. So we're familiar with under cabinet lighting, but also bringing in lighting within our cabinets, lighting within shelving, especially if you have some open shelving, you can do some really beautiful lighting that's kind of tucked away and hidden underneath, looks gorgeous. Also that lighting in the toe kick area is another way that we're seeing lighting brought in in a nice layered approach. Now, I don't know about you, but I find my floor gets too many crumbs on it every day, but maybe if you have like an iRobot that just cleans that up, is that what that thing's called? That little vacuum that runs around the floor <laughs> that you don't have to worry about the crumbs so much, but I still love the way it looks when I see a picture of the toe kick lighting. I think it looks really, really stunning. It just elevates the whole space. Also, you could think about some cove lighting, still thinking about bringing in all your layers, so your task, your ambient, and your accent lighting. You can bring in that also with some pot lighting that are on different uh, levels, so dimmers included there, maybe some cove lighting, or depending on the layout of your kitchen, even maybe some wall lighting in some interesting fashion. So bringing in your lighting in your kitchen in a more understated and layered way is the trend that we're seeing for 2024. Just a brief pause here. If you're enjoying the video so far, please hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Now this trend I have seen a huge uptick on just from my own clients, and that is the beverage station. I'm seeing a lot of people incorporating some additional millwork into their kitchen designs 
for beverage spaces. Now, this could be a wet or dry bar, basically meaning a sink or a no sink. It could be a coffee bar, it could be a wine bar, it could be a drink station with just any types of drinks in fridges. But really these curated and custom built-in beverage stations, they might not necessarily be right in your kitchen. It might be kitchen adjacent, it might be in your dining area, but definitely looking at bringing in these millworked beverage stations are really hot for 2024. I really feel like this comes to that entertainment piece is we gather more in our homes because life is just so expensive. So if you're going to spend some money, you might as well spend it on making your space an entertainment space. And I'm here for it. I just did a really beautiful wine bar design where we actually did a beautiful display for all the wines underneath. It was a bar height for the surface and then on the back wall we put bottles on the back wall it was all perimeter lighting and built-in millwork and just really beautiful way of showcasing the beautiful wine bottles they were avid wine collectors so it was a great design concept to bring in for them so this next trend is continuing from last year. We started talking about the increase in the butler's pantry. It continues into this year. Now, I do feel like butler's pantries can be difficult if you don't have the space for them. I know I don't have space for one. I would love one. I would. I don't have the room for one. That being said, if you are doing a renovation, sometimes you can just creatively use a space in a different way. I was recently at a friend's house who had had her kitchen renovated and she had this super adorable, very small butler's pantry. I think it may have been a closet from the other side where there was a hallway and they just didn't need that closet space. And they did this absolutely gorgeous shelf that displayed their, they had travel mugs from all the places they had gone. It was absolutely gorgeous, just the way it was custom designed for that. And then they also had just a little alcove, no door on it, just a little kind of corner, but tucked away. And they could keep all their extra little appliances in there, extra serving dishes, all the things that are just kind of awkward or take up space or small appliances that you don't necessarily need all the time. I love even just a tiny little extra space to have that, you know, located in. I think that's great. What I love about the butler's pantry is that you can plan it in a redesign of your kitchen or perhaps maybe you even bring in just an appliance garage if you're updating your cab cabinetry. There's lots of really creative ways to kind of bring in this extra storage, but I do love this trend of the butler's pantry. I think it's gorgeous. I think, you know, I can drool over the pictures too. <laughs> Definitely something that requires space or a full renovation with creative use of space. So yes, the butler's pantry is still hot for 2024. This trend I love, and I think this is more of a timeless design element, and that is the solid surface backsplash. I feel like last year in the trends, we really talked a lot about some more bold aesthetics so those terrazzos and those more bold pattern marbles, but those are things that kind of come and go. But I believe in last year's trends, we did talk about the solid surface backsplash. And I think with the aesthetics of this year, that more calm, serene, and really natural look to it, and the solid surface backsplash now really go well together and could be something that's very timeless. What I love about a solid surface backsplash, number one, is just the cleanability of it. No grout to deal with, solid surface, just super easy to clean. If you're doing a Corian that looks like a marble or even just you know any type of Corian or salt solid surface, if you're doing granite, if you're doing any stone, it does become a lot easier to clean. With a caveat, marble is difficult just in general for maintenance, but for most other products. I mean, once you do that solid back, you're not dealing with any of those extra issues with grout and, you know, just trying to get in and clean all those things. And don't get me wrong. There are some gorgeous tile trends right now that I absolutely love as well. But the solid surface backsplash for me, number one, comes down to just cleanability. And aesthetically, it is really gorgeous. It's a really beautiful and clean look. If you're into more of like a min minimalist or modern look, I feel like this really suits that aesthetic quite a bit and you will be very pleased with the outcome. And I don't think you'll tire of it in uh, too soon. I do think this is more of a timeless look. 
So back to our ranges. It's interesting because on one end we have that trend of the induction cooktop, more of a sleek and kind of like calm look to the kitchen cooktop area. On the other side is, which you can incorporate with an induction cooktop, but it's this statement range hood option. I feel like with this one, it would be really well suited. Like let's say you had like a Le Cornu, which is really expensive, but really beautiful. Or if you have a beautiful wolf range, like something like that to do a beautiful statement hood would look absolutely stunning. It really does polish and finish the look. I really like when you build it into the cabinetry so it just kind of becomes this consistent look, but a statement hood could also be a beautifully designed and built in almost architectural element within your kitchen. And it really does become a focal point. I think it also kind of ties in with that trend if you're moving away from some more of those pendant lights that you may want to have something that's different that's an accent within your space. So seeing that trend of these beautiful, you know, uh, showstopper range hoods is really interesting as well because you won't have anything else to really capture your eye if you kind of go full bore on this trend and just skip those pendant lights and do the statement range hood. So I think that's interesting. I think it's there's some really lovely ways to make that a beautiful statement piece within your kitchen. I mentioned it briefly, but open shelving is continuing to be a trend for 2024. I think I've said this before, it's not my personal favorite trend because you have to keep everything dusted and clean. That being said, it is still going strong into 2024. People love the open shelving look. I think it really leans into this very clean look. And let's say you, you know, some of the design trends we talked about was these kitchen accessories. So if you have beautiful pottery or you have beautiful different pieces that you've purchased, you can actually showcase them and you can bring in that under shelf lighting to really highlight them. So the open shelf does look gorgeous if it's well maintained and it looks and it's styled nicely. I don't dislike the look of them. I think the look of them is gorgeous and I really, really love the look of the open shelving. My issue is more the practicality of open shelving for a lot of people just isn't there, but it's a big trend. It's It started becoming really popular, you know, last year again, and it is continuing to be on trend for 2024. So I'm really liking this um, look. I like the aesthetic of it, but again, it's definitely one that you have to keep, you know, pristine. I, I don't know about you, but I love storage. And that's the one thing. If you need storage, then this might not work for you. So just a caveat to that, but open shelving still hot for 2024. So something else I mentioned in the design trends video are tiles and these really organic feeling tiles. I am absolutely loving the texture that we're seeing in our backsplash. You know, completely opposite from that solid surface backsplash is these textured tiles. And I think they have such a beautiful statement about them. I love that they're you know, not necessarily all the exact same color and you get a lot of variation in the look. It's a very organic and earthy, you know, trend. And we are seeing that across the board in our trends is this very natural type of look. And it's, you know, obviously flooding into our kitchens as well, but I am loving the tile trends for this year. I think it's nice to see still a very, a uh, simple tile, but with a more natural texture to it. So it's easy to use, it's easy to implement into a space and it will, you know, look just absolutely gorgeous for years to come. So although this one is a little bit outside of the home, it's definitely a trend that we're seeing a ton of, and that is embracing the outdoor kitchen. I feel like in the last several years, we've really you know, incorporated our outdoor and indoor living together and expanding on the kitchen in our outdoor space is also a huge trend for kitchens. It's been a bit of a trend for a while and it's continuing to be a progressive trend into 2024. Seeing these gorgeous outdoor kitchens and just how you can really incorporate, you know, utilizing that outdoor space to its maximum potential is going to be another trend that we're seeing hot, hot, hot for 2024. I'm loving this indoor, outdoor, very, um, you know, integrated use of our homes and our space moving into, you know, well, even last year, but moving again and further into this year. I'm loving it. I think, you know, it's 
a great trend. This trend is another one that I am really enjoying. I feel like you see it a lot when you, you look at spaces like Airbnbs or, you know, uh, cottages for some reason, but that is this, you know, Eden kitchen style. I feel like that has really become super on trend in the last little bit and we're seeing it for 2024. I feel like we didn't see that as much for a while, probably because we did a lot of these open concept homes and some of the trends is moving a little bit more into a more, I don't wanna say closed floor plan, but just a different style of floor plan is kind of what's becoming on trend as we're moving into 2024. So I think these eating kitchens are becoming a bigger trend because that goes more with the floor plan that's not as open. So previously we kind of had our dining room as it's not off on its own, but had its own designated space. And then now we're seeing this really incorporated into the kitchen space because we do tend to sit and eat in our kitchens, let's be honest. The island is such a popular spot to sit in and use. I find whenever I have a party, everybody just gather, gathers around the island. And now we're seeing this kind of older tradition back in fashion and on trend for 2024, which is bringing the dining area right into the kitchen and really utilizing it as this communal Eden space and just really making it the hub of the home. This trend is also one that you're seeing more of, and that is these colored and painted cabinets. I feel like we have been seeing a lot of, you know, wood tones for a while, and we've always seen painted cabinets, but I do feel like we're seeing a lot more warm, rich, beautiful colors in our cabinetry. I believe in the color trends video, I talked about that beautiful blue that uh, Benjamin Moore has launched. That would look absolutely stunning in a kitchen on the cabinetry. I also am loving that mushroom tone that's been super beautiful and super on trend for our cabinets, but also some different, more bold colors. We've seen different greens. We've seen some, you know, deep reds, almost burgundies being used. We've definitely seen this resurgent into colored cabinetry being used again, and that is continuing into 2024, is seeing a lot more variety in our kitchen cabinetry itself. We're really seeing that it's not just cookie cutter, shaker panel, white, you know, grayish or wood basically, which has kind of been what's been happening for a few years. Since last year, we've really been moving into a lot more colored cabinets and not that they weren't on trend before because really it's whatever you love for your own space, but we're seeing a lot more of it and I'm here for it. I think it looks absolutely stunning to really go bold on your kitchen. That being said, it is a big investment piece, so I totally understand why people don't necessarily do it because heaven forbid you pick you know, a very vibrant color and then you don't like it in five years. Some people may not be able to make that adjustment. <laughs> so definitely um, know your limits and stay within it. <laughs> Just to clarify, trends are for enjoyment. We can take bits and pieces of them that we like, that we don't like. You don't have to like any of them. They're just for inspiration. Think of it like the fashion show. When you see those models wearing the clothes that seem kind of ridiculous, you don't necessarily wear that exact piece, right? We take elements from those and we can incorporate it to our own style. So that's what you really need to take away when we talk about trends. If you enjoyed today's video, jump on over and check out my design trends video. It gets into some more things that we're seeing coming down the pipe for 2024.